Hi everyone, thanks for joining me. Today we're going to be talking about the uh, Four Dog Stove Moore's Pot. Uh, first of all, a little bit of background. Um, the Moore's Pot was uh, really brought to kind of the, the mainstream bushcrafting community through Morris Kohansky, who's a, a famous Canadian uh, bushcrafter, uh, outdoor living and survival skills instructor. Um, he was, uh, was and is good friends with Tom Roycroft, who you might be familiar with in regards to the Roycroft frame and whatnot. So Moores wrote this book, Bushcraft. It was actually originally titled uh, Northern Bushcraft, but I guess the editor shortened it just to Bushcraft. I think this came out in 86. Uh, Morris Kohansky. Um, if you don't know who Morris Kohansky is and haven't read this book, I su highly suggest you read it. This is probably my favorite bushcrafting book. This is basically a Bible um, in regards to, you know, bushcrafting. It's, you know, how to use an axe to how to build shelters and it's just an absolute gem of a book when it comes to uh, outdoor skills. But uh, what we're going to be talking about today is actually the Moore's Pot. Um, just uh, a few things about this pot. Uh, Moore's has a pot very similar to this that was given to him by uh, Tom Roycroft. This pot, or this design of pot, was uh, originally used as uh, the Canadian Ar Army and Air Force survival pot. So this was, you know, what they used in their in their survival school, which uh, both Moore's and Tom taught at. Uh, so Tom gave him this this pot and said, you know what, I haven't found a better pot than this one. Uh, unfortunately, nowadays you can't find the original pot. And uh, Moore's, everybody asked Moore's about his pot. And uh, so I think that uh, he teamed up with Four Dog Stove and just started having them made because the original manufacturer, I don't think, makes them anymore. Uh, so what this is, is a... Uh, uh, 1.8 liter pot. Uh, just uh, to give you an idea on on size, I've got a, a standard size uh, canteen, uh, U.S. Army style canteen. That's the, uh, the size difference. I know on videos it's always tough to kind of portray the size, but it's a, a very handy little size. Um, you know, a, a canteen cup. That's the size difference. So uh, let's talk about the pot a little bit. It's uh, uh, made out of aluminum, fully made out of aluminum, with the exception of the uh, the handles, I believe. Um, but this this handle is actually aluminum, I believe. Uh, it comes with a uh, a very tight fitting lid. It's uh, again aluminum. The uh, uh, kind of handle on the top is riveted on, and uh, it's it's a very cool design because, as you can see, this loop is bent. So what that allows is a stick or something to go in really easily. It's uh, a very kind of nice little feature. Again, the, uh, the lid fits relatively tightly um, so that when it falls or if, if you drop it or accidentally, you know, knock it, it's not going to come off. It, uh, it fits very, very nice and snug. Uh, the pot itself is uh, black anodized aluminum. Um, it's anodized black because according to Moore's, uh, a black pot uh, uses less fuel to boil water than a shiny pot. And, you know, although I've never tested that, it makes a lot of sense to me, uh, just due to reflectivity. 
uh, you know, if a, if a pot's shiny, it's going to reflect more heat than it absorbs, and if it's black, it's going to absorb more heat. Uh, according to, to Morris Kohansky, um, I believe he said that uh, a black pot of, of the same dimensions and shape and whatnot and materials will generally heat water with uh, a third less fuel than a, uh, a shiny one. So that's why it's a, it's a hard anodized black. Um, it does have a very slight spout, although this the spout does travel, oh, I would say, you know, uh, four-fifths of the way down. Um, and you can see how far it, it sticks out from the lid, uh, probably a half inch. So what that does is uh, uh, it allows you to, you know, pour nicely. You don't have to do that classic kind of uh, zebra can pour like this, even though you could, um, uh, due to the indexing, uh, which we'll talk about. Uh, it's a very cool little design feature is that the, the bail handle is actually indexed in three different spots so that it's easy to pour. You can get the, the handle out of the way and it'll stay there. A uh, very nice little feature. Uh, as well, and of course, uh, those those are riveted right on, so they're they're good to good to go. Uh, very very sturdy. As well, on the back, you've got these uh, butterfly handles, uh, very similar to uh, like the uh, uh, canteen cup style, um, and that just you know facil facilitates using it to pour, right? It's a very, very cool little feature. It doesn't take up very much weight at all. And, uh, you know, just a great little feature. Um, so the, the pot itself is uh, five and three quarter inch tall. So just about six inches tall. And the same in width, five and three quarter. Um, again, the capacity is 1.8 liter. Uh, for my American friends, that works out to two quarts, or seven, about seven and a half cups. Uh, Moore says that he likes it because uh, you can make seven men a cup of coffee in it. Uh, this pot is all USA made. So it's all made in the USA, which uh, I know a lot of my subscribers are really into. Um, and just overall, it's a, a really great pot. It's... Uh, very well designed um, and uh, very quality made. Um, this uh, pot with the lid weighs 11 ounces, which for the size of the pot is actually a, a very manageable weight. Uh, it's a great size. You ha have plenty of room to put, uh, you know, your stove and all sorts of other things inside. And uh, again, you don't need to put, you know, elastics or whatever to hold everything together as that lid, you know, secures everything in. Uh, I really, really like this pot. Um, and, and the history of the pot is uh, uh, very interesting as well. Now you can go to, uh, if you're interested in picking up one of these, uh, you can go to the Four Dog Stove website, which I'll, uh, uh, I'll put below in the comments. Uh, the the actual uh, link uh, there this pot is uh, retails for thirty four dollars straight from four dog stove which is where I got it from uh, to my knowledge uh, no real retailers are carrying it um, shipping to uh, Canada and Europe is an extra ten dollars so forty four dollars for a really really solid pot is uh, a, a great deal. Um, just to clarify as well, I, I haven't used this pot uh, in a practical uh, way yet, uh, like in, a, in, a, in cooking or boiling water or whatnot. Uh, that being said, you know, I'm very familiar with zebra, zebra billy cans and uh, uh, my other pot set is made by Primus. I mean, I'm, I, I've, I've used titanium, aluminum, and stainless steel pots in the past. So, I mean, it's, it's gonna, I'm sure it's gonna work well. I haven't uh, really experimented with something that's fully black coated, but most of my pots have uh, like a black soot 
uh, on them from cooking over open fires. So uh, I, I definitely feel that I can I can speak to, to how well it's going to perform, although, like I said, I, I haven't uh, actually used this practically yet. Uh, great little pot, highly recommended. Um, so far, the, the anodization seems to be holding up quite well. Uh, I've, I have this in, in my day pack, along with my stove and whatnot, and uh, the anodization is definitely good and strong. Um, the original one uh, that, that Morse, Morse actually still has, it was, it was like I said, it was given to him in 1967 by uh, Tom Roycroft, and uh, Morse likes it so much that uh, uh, he actually said that, told his wife that uh, he would like it to be used as his urn <laughs> when, when he dies. So that's quite interesting. Um, in terms of what I would change, the only thing that I can think of that I would like to see is uh, the bail handle is completely round. I like the, the ones that have just like a little little notch so that you know where the, the dead center is and it helps to, to, to sit straight. Uh, that being said, when, this, when there's uh, ballast or fluid in, in or, or something heavy inside the pot, it's going to naturally center and uh, I don't think that that's too big of a deal. Um, as well, the, the way that the handles are made, they do tend to stick out quite a, quite a bit from the sides. Um, I don't know if it's easy to see, but uh, yeah, it would be nice if, if the handle was a little bit more form-fitting, uh, just to take up you know, a little bit less room. Aside from that, you know, I absolutely love the pot. Like I said, it's lightweight, it's a perfect size. And, uh, yeah, I thought I'd share that with you. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll talk to you soon.